Hello and welcome to the Hoosier.com's post-game wrap-up following Indiana's 88-53 win in their first game of the season over Moorhead State. We are here at Assembly Hall. A great showing from the fans, definitely better than I expected. I expected a good crowd naturally because of Hoosier Nation's passion about this team. But the entire balcony on that side of the uh, on that side of Assembly Hall above Section K was full. Okay. Like, nothing I'd ever seen. It probably was for Purdue, but I couldn't see it from where I was sitting. Um, so just a great showing, a lot of energy. There was number 24 on Moorhead State was getting booed by the entire student section anytime you touched the ball. It was a lot of fun. Um, just a great showing from the crowd. A little bit of a slow start for Indiana today. Over. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they did start off a little bit uh, a little bit slow out there, a little lackadaisical. And then, you know, the second unit, I mean, it's just been a constant theme considering you go back to the two exhibition games. I feel like the second unit's really providing a much-needed spark. You know, Trey Galloway was kind of that guy, but he's got more people coming off the bench, like a Tamar Bates, Malik Renew. Um, for example, those guys are really coming in and they're just kind of waking this team up a little bit. It seems like the starting fives just starts off with a slow start. They just kind of settle into the game a little bit. But I mean, it really is uh, it really is that second unit that is providing that spark with them. Jordan Geronimo was also pretty mm -hmm. big with them. I think he went five of seven today. Uh, really good showing for him. He had showed off his improved ball handling skills and that mid range jumper looked really solid with him. Malik Renew was just a beast. I mean, yeah. him and Trace Jackson Davis were the two leading scorers with 15 points. I mean, I, I think Malik Renew is kind of a weapon at this yeah. point. I mean, you, you don't have, it, it's very rare that you have a guy of his caliber coming off the bench in college basketball. That just shows you how deep Indiana is. Yeah, and we saw glimpses of this Jordan Geronimo last year because he's so athletic, he's so freakishly athletic. But when he can put it all together and kind of just play composed, and control himself, he's really just a different kind of player than we've seen in the past. You mentioned Malik Renew. The energy I saw from him tonight is something I haven't seen from an Indiana player, just how consistent he was. Yeah. When he got a bucket, he was screaming. He was talking crap to the Moorhead State bench two minutes into checking in to his first minutes in an Indiana uniform. So he's just a great player, and I love, I love, I love his game. Yeah, he's definitely a guy that's not going to get bullied around. No. That's for sure. I mean, <laughs> no. he, he, I mean, he knows, and honestly, he knows how good he is. He has a lot of confidence. Him and Jalen Huchafino both come from Montford, who just instills confidence in their players. I mean, that's mm -hmm. an elite program and everything, and that's just where that kind of stems from. Um, he's been a major weapon, like I just mentioned, like coming off the bench this season. I mean, down the stretch, if Tracy Jackson Davis or Ray Stompson get foul trouble, they can feel confident because they have Malik Renew, you know, ready, you know, ready to produce right away. I mean, he's just, very rarely do you see freshmen with his size just ready to play, and he certainly is. Yeah, and then Tamar Bates, we've seen in the past what he can do when you give him significant minutes. He just didn't really get those last season. And in these first few games, counting the exhibition games, He's gotten those minutes, and he's really, really performed well. Yeah, he's going to be a big piece for them moving forward. I mean, they expect a lot of improvement. Mike Woodson certainly does expect a lot of improvement from Tamar Bates. was really inconsistent last year. But, I mean, if anything, is showing like he's ready to kind of accept a larger role this year, and he's going to need to. He's going to be one of the first players off the bench always. Mm -hmm. um, and he, and he, he's got to be that guy that provides some scoring. I mean, he is a shooting guard. He's got to provide some outside scoring, which, which I, I think he did a little bit today. But... Um, you know, it's just all about consistency with tomorrow moving forward. Yeah, and another always big storyline with this team, Miller Cop, two big threes in transition, one coming off a of Trace Jackson Davis block, and the explosion from the crowd after he made them was crazy. And I don't know if it was a, oh, my God, he made it kind of reaction or a, oh, my God, if he shoots like this consistently, this team is going to be dominant. Oh, yeah, and especially any player that can shoot consistently from the outside. But Miller Kopp especially, you know, how rough of a year he had. Yeah. He, he is on a short lease with the Indiana fan base, I will say that. But, I mean, he hit these open shots, especially in transition, which is one of the toughest three-point shots you can potentially make. Yeah. But he's shooting them with confidence. And Mike Woodson said, you know, earlier this summer that he expects Miller Kopp to hit those shots. He knows what atmosphere he's playing in now. You know, it's a lot different than Northwestern. And he knows what the fan base and what his teammates expect from him. And I think Miller Kopp's in for a really, really big season. He's probably, I, I would think he might be the most improved player from last year. You know, if he could just hit shots consistently, it's going to be a major piece for this Indiana team. Yeah, and then two kind of low spots today were rebounding and free throws. Yeah. Indiana was one of seven from the line in the first half. Yeah, I mean, that's that was just the point. You know, the, it's early struggles with free throw shooting. That's what they struggled with last year as well. Um, I think they finished off 12 and 21. They, they shot them a lot better in the second half, but, I mean, that's still a very ugly uh, percentage, only 57%. So, I mean, that's something they really got to work on. Um, I mean, this is stemmed back to all the way to the Archie Miller era, um, the Tom Crean era. It's just Indiana has some kind of 
you know, curse when it comes to free throw shooting. And well, <laughs> I mean, I, you don't know at this point. You just don't know like yeah. what it is. I, I just think it's it's confidence. And then out being well, they ended up being out, they ended up out rebounding Morehead State. But for a while, it was a struggle there. I mean, Morehead State was getting in there and they were getting rebounds on both ends. Um, so that's just something you know. Indiana should never be out rebounded. I said that a lot last year during these. Like they should never be out rebounded when you got Trace Jackson Davis, Ray Thompson, and now Malik Renew in there, and Jordan Geronimo, as yeah. for example. Like you should never be out rebounded. So they just got to con- continue to work on that in the free throws. Yeah, and I should clarify, they were one for seven from the line at one point in the first half. They didn't finish the first half one for seven, and then to cap it off. He's going to give you what he's going to give you. Trace Jackson Davis with a great game, uh, mashing the team high with Willie Greenew. Team high in points at 15. Yeah, he's the rock. He's, I mean, he's the main guy right there. And Mike Wilson wants to continue to play inside-out ball. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what they're going to do. You did see Trace. He did take a uh, 15-foot jumper. I mean, you got he didn't make it, but, I mean, you got to, you know, you got to make the, you got to shoot those with yeah. him. You know, he's got to work on that, but everything. But, no, he's the best player on the floor for a reason. That's who they're going to go to 90% of the time. So, I mean, Pretty much a standard showing from him, I would yep. say. Absolutely. So an 88-53 to 53 win over Moorhead State to open the season in Indiana is 1-0 and from the Hoosier.com. He is Kyra Staley. I am Key Nixon. We will see you next time.